Hi, my name is Lena Alia. I am a third year OBGYN resident at Mount Sinai Hospital in Chicago. I graduated from Ross in May of 2016. It's actually like one of those really cheesy stories where it's like I've never known anything besides medicine. Um, I think the fact that I come from an Arab background, it was like you were going to be a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer. Um, and so that's just like all it was ever since I was young. It's like you're going to be a doctor and I was like okay. And then as I was growing up I just was loving science and I was doing very well in it and then it grew and now it's a passion. I have a cousin who graduated from Ross, I think it was in 2010, um, so that's how I heard about Ross and I saw that he had gotten a residency and was in fellowship, so that was um, my introduction and um, I did not apply um, to a lot of U.S. schools because I knew kind of where I f would fit along um, the requirements. And I got my acceptance from Ross, and I got my acceptance from two other Caribbean medical schools, and I ended up choosing Ross. So I started in September of 2012, and I, it, when I first got there, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> like, what am I doing here from Chicago? Like, this is, I'm not made to be in a jungle. Um, but within like the first couple of weeks, I really felt like it was a good place for me to be, especially kind of knowing how demanding everything was going to be in terms of school. I had started out my medical school career thinking that I wanted to be a neurologist, um, and I was like set up for that in every single way. Um, and then I started my rotations, and a part of my first internal medicine rotation was some neurology. And when I did it in clinical practice, I was like, I hate this. <laughs> um, so then I realized that I really liked surgery and I liked working with my hands in that way. And um, when I did my surgery rotation, I really liked that. And then right after that came OBGYN rotation. And um, I remember kind of being exposed to all the different aspects of OBGYN and seeing that I could be a primary care physician and be a surgeon and deliver babies and uh, I liked how well-rounded it was as a specialty and the fact that I could have my patient continuity like throughout their lives. Just remember that you are now no longer walking into the patient's room as the medical student. You are walking into the patient's room as the doctor. There's a reason why it's not easy and at the end of the day we all need to just come back down and remember why we chose to go into this profession and remember why we chose the specialty that we chose. It's not always gonna be a walk in the park, but that, those are the moments that are actually gonna make us stronger and better physicians. And as long as we continue to focus on patient care and make that our number one priority, I think that eventually that satisfaction comes back. I have another year of residency left but I have already signed my contract for my attending position. Um, I'm gonna be joining um, a hospital group in Dixon, Illinois, affiliated with KSB Hospital. Ross is really special to me, <laughs> and um, I think that comes out in a lot of what I try to do in terms of giving back to the students and um, kind of just really having a lot of pride in my university because it was the place that gave me the opportunity to pursue my dreams and to be where I am today. And it means so much to me that I send my family there. <laughs> so um, I think that in and of itself speaks for what Ross means to me. <laughs>